Joe, um, you know, as of today, what's the grade? What's the timeline looking like for Chris Stapps going forward? Uh, I'm not sure. We're just going to give it a week, kind of see where he's at, uh, uh, kind of see how he responds to the treatment over the next week. I know you mentioned he was kind of struggling out there for a couple of plays before the injury occurred. What's the balance there? Obviously, you know, guys are going to play through some stuff, but, you know, when you see him struggling a little bit out there, like, is it on the guy, him to kind of call out there? Or is it on, you know, you guys to kind of identify that? Like, what was, what's that balance like on the play like that? I mean, he told me he needed to come out of the game. He, he told you that? Yeah. That, and that was on the initial? I don't know. It was at some point during it. It was a long time ago. Without Chris Stops, there's you know less of a matchup issue at the five there, um, which probably means more switching. How do you combat the game slowing down? Because you have said playing fast opens up opportunities for other people. How do you how do you keep the keep playing fast when they're switching and trying to slow you down? Uh, I thought that's what we did a good job of in game four. Uh, we got off to a really good start playing with pace, even with them. And then I thought we uh, maintained that in the second half. So just got to use the speed to our advantage uh, on both ends of the floor. I think it's the most important thing. Uh, but it starts with our defense. Got to get stops. When we do that, we could, you know, don't have to play in the half court. And um, in the half court, we got to, you know, use our speed to, you know, create two-on-ones and, and uh, you know, pocket opportunities. Hey, Joe. Yeah. In a closeout game like this, up 3-1 at home, how important is it to get off to a good start in a situation like this? I have no idea. Um, the most important thing is uh, understanding that um, you know they're going to be desperate, and we need to be too. We have to have the same sense of urgency. So it takes what it takes. It doesn't really matter however long it takes, and that's kind of the mindset you have. You can't really go in with an expectation of if we get off to a good start, we'll win. At the end of the day, we gotta we got to play the whole game, and we got to compete at a high level the entire game, and that still may not be enough. So I uh, just have to go in with the mindset of whatever it takes by any means necessary. Thank you, Joe. Thanks.